Welcome to Here Now, a season of audio theater from Keene Company. We're an award-winning nonprofit theater in New York City, championing identification and connection through stories about the decisive moments that change us. I'm Jonathan Silverstein, the Artistic Director, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Adventure File by Melissa Lee and Kit Yan, the final production in this season of audio theater. Join us in embracing the virtual off-Broadway experience. Take a moment to find your seat, silence any distractions, and lower your house lights. It's time to settle in for a night at the theater and enjoy Adventure File. Hey, globetrotting babes! Welcome to Adventure File, a travel podcast that feeds your wonder-lusting soul. Each episode, we bring you with us to explore a new exotic destination in daring and unconventional ways. I'm Savannah Yamamoto, your excursionista in chief, and I'm Mason Lee, executive producer and fellow nomad, co-executive producer, and my companion on the road and in life. Yup, I'm the boyfriend that pays for everything. Thanks to me, we're able to be the only podcast that takes you with us on location every week. Stay in school, kids. It buys you nice things. As longtime listeners already know, I grew up in a loving Chinese-Japanese household. But I didn't always feel connected to my heritage. My family was so poor, we could only afford one international vacation a year. So I never got to see the world. But even at that young age, I knew that travel was a human right. It absolutely is. My parents were even poorer than yours. But I said screw that. I worked hard and now I travel whenever I want, even just for the weekend. I grab my own fate by the balls. (laughs) No one wants to hear about your balls on this podcast. People are nomadic and migratory creatures. Seeing worlds you've never seen and taking it in and keeping a piece of it for yourself, that's what enriches your soul. On today's episode, we are sharing the wealth once again by taking you somewhere no one's ever been before. Literally. We mean it. No one has ever set foot here. Our intern, Caitlin, scouted a tiny piece of land off the coast of southern China, about 30 leagues southeast of Hong Kong. It's so obscure, it's not even on Google Maps. Who knew there was still unexplored land in China, right? We are on our 44th episode, and this is the first time I feel a genuine connection to this land because of my heritage. It's kind of like a homecoming. We'll be the first explorers to set foot on that gorgeous terrain. I've already named it the Island of Asa, which means morning in Japanese. (laughs) I love mornings. Me too. The early bird gets the worm. In just a few moments, our helicopter is going to pick us up and drop us off on its beautiful untouched shores. But first, let's introduce our super special guest this episode, shall we? Let's do it. I'm sure you've seen him go against himself in that epic TikTok rap battle with over 1.3 million views. Better known as DJ Fan, please welcome fellow adventurer and our college bestie, Noah Fan. Yo, 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 DJ Fan in the house. What's up, what's up to all my fanboys and girls? So hyped to be here with y'all fam. Now, you're a big star on the internet, but what folks don't know about you is that you're also an amazing person to adventure with. Mason and I have watched every episode of Alone, but you have actual bushcraft skills and you're an excellent free solo climber. What? (laughs) Yeah, I ain't scared to death. Now I'm saying I grew up in the hood and I'm jungle Asian. My fam's taught me all their village ways. And unlike my boy Mason, no disrespect, scraping by. Hustlin', that's in my blood. And that's the theme of my new album, Fan Mail. P-H-A-N Mail. That's right, dropping June 19. We're so excited to have you with us, Noah. Okay, before we get started, 
This episode of Adventure File is sponsored by Fuse Mini, the world's best travel diffuser for on-the-go aromatherapy. Everyone gets a little stressed when you're away from the comfort of your own home. Now with the Fuse Mini, every moment can be a lavender eucalyptus moment. We're definitely bringing ours on this trip, and you can too. Just use promo code ADVENTURE for 20% off the first purchase. The Fuse Mini, when you need a little bit of home on your vacation. All right, boys. So, shall we go to Asa? Hells Let's yeah. Let's do it, baby. Our own personal paradise. Not a soul in sight. Woohoo! This shit is lit! Oh, so breathtaking, man. Here we are, listeners. On the island of Asa, for the first time. Listen to the sound of these waves. Take it in. We've just landed about 15 minutes ago, and we'll be staying here and exploring for three days. As usual, we've got our backpackers essentials, including our Comfort Plus tents, our Nature Tech headlamps, and of course, our Fuse Mini. Wow, so I noticed this in the aerial photos and didn't know if it was real, but now I see the distinctive olive color of the sand. Until now, there's only been four known green sand beaches in the world, and now I've discovered the fifth. Asa is a lush, 37-acre piece of land surrounded by crystal clear blue waters. We're standing on the southern tip of the island right now. But if we follow the ocean eastward, there's a stretch of caves that, that water, babe. If we follow the ocean eastward, there's I gotta a stretch. Tick-tock this dog. Maybe there's monkeys. I want to hug a monkey. Dude, there's no internet. Come swim with me. Serious? No internet? If we follow the ocean eastward, there's Come a- Come on, babe. Let's go for a dip. Can you, like, not? I'm describing the island. Then we're setting up camp, and then we're doing the swimming segment. But this is so gorgeous. Let's swim now. We talked about this. This isn't the plan. <laughs> Who cares? Just edit it later. <clears throat> I, I guess I gotta record a video like a regular-ass millennial. Hmm. Hey, hey, shout out to my fandom. Y'all, look at this baller shit. Woo! Perfect place to spit some sick bars, am I right? No, the two of you aren't here on my podcast to do your own thing. Adventure File is my show. <sighs> if we follow the ocean <clears throat> eastward, there's a stretch of caves dotting the shore, Paradise partially Island. obscured by a dense growth. Green it's picturesque pockets, and fitting for a place so Aquamarine. close to my ancestral homeland. Like Being here, Living it feels in a way like I've stacks journeyed across the globe so to claim rich, what's always obscene. been mine. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. Spit it out. Why are you being such a bitch? Excuse me? Your show? This is our show. Yo, y'all see that kid? Stop fucking around, Noah. It's a little girl. Hey, kid! What's this about? I'm fine. I just want to finish my intro. No, talk to me! Okay, Adventure Files, pro tip. On most tropical islands, despite clear skies, weather can change on a dime. So pack for every Savannah, kind of climate. I'm serious. Talk to me. You want to talk? Fine. You want to talk about the massive fucking bomb you dropped on me on the flight here? Wait, what? Oh, I, I said I liked your buckwheat cookies. It's just that buckwheat about isn't About you my... and Noah. Oh, that? Oh, that? Like it's some random fucking thing that happened in college? No big deal? It is a random thing that happened in college. I'm your romantic best friend, okay? This is not news I was prepared to receive. Noah and I are not even gay. It was just one time. We laughed about it, and then we never talked about it again. Really? We? I feel so betrayed right now. This was before you and I even started dating. You're the one who's all about queer exploration, gender, non-conformity, poly, whatever. I just feel like you're not listening to me or respecting my feelings. I'm trying to talk to you about it, but you're overreacting. I feel really gaslit right now. What do you want me to say? I need you to tell me that you're sorry you betrayed me so deeply and that you promised to go with me to therapy to process, examine, and confront your feelings for Noah. That's fucking nuts, Sav. Is this how it's going to be for the next three days? You insulting and invalidating me? You need to chill. 
Wait, hang on, where's Noah? <laughs> hey, shout out to my fandom! Yo, look at this baller shit! Woo! Perfect place to spit some sick bars, am I right? <clears throat> mm. 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 Paradise Island. All I see is green sand in my pocket. I bleed aquamarine. Living like a king. Living the dream. Stacks on stacks, so rich it's obscene. Hey! <laughs> hey yo. Who's that? Hey! Why are you being such a bitch? Excuse me? Your show? This is our show. Yo, y'all see that kid? Stop fucking around, Noah. It's a little girl. Hey, kid! <laughs> I thought y'all said it's uninhabited. Yo, wait up! Damn, you fast. Hold up! Holy shit. A fucking cave? <clears throat> Yo, my mic's on, yeah? <laughs> Good, because it's pitch black and the camera's not going to catch a damn thing in here. I right, y'all. Here's what happened. So, I spotted this eight-year-oldish girl out on the cliff by the beach and started tailing her. Then, she led me to this fucking majestic-ass cave! Oh! Fuck. <laughs> Gotta be careful in here. Can't see shit, but my phone's flashlight is working. Hey, kid! You still there? <laughs> Wait up! Oh. It smells like salt in here. Whoa, the acoustics are amazing. Yo, yo, yo. DJ fan in the house. Paradise Island. All I see is green. Sand in my pocket. I bleed aquamarine. Living like a king. Living the dream. Stacks on stacks so rich it's obscene. Beats so sick like a rhyming machine. The heart bass make your heart race like a jolt of caffeine. Cause my presence is in essence turning dirt into a dream. I'm a gift to this land when I'm spitting on the scene. Nobody can hold me down. I'm taking back what they owe me. I'm claiming the land I found. My territory. Hey kid, go and tell your fam that I am the GOAT. I'm fans of my fans, I'm the man with the plan, I'm captain of this boat Like Noah with the Ark, I'm Noah with the black card I go hard, I throw the bars I stole out of your throat Oh, I thrive on the strongest, you disagree, be honest You lying through your teeth, son, go see an orthodontist This land is my conquest, no second best, no contest I'm living large and taking charge, and baby, that's a promise Nobody can hold me down I'm taking back what they owe me I'm claiming the land I found My Territory. Down in this cave, I'm the main motherfucker Lord of the flies, man, going undercover This cave is a box, and I'm Pandora I used to sling rocks, now I'm climbing them for a living On the edge, slipping through the cracks Don't mean to be vain, gotta cover my tracks But I'm bringing the pain like a Brazilian wax Sodom and Gomorrah, explore like Dora As the ocean fades, there's a mystical aura Sure, a call it a house of horror I steal my mind and prepare for war Nobody can hold me down I'm taking back what they owe me I'm claiming the land I found My, my territory Nobody can hold me down I'm taking back what they owe me Paradise Island, all I see is green sand in my pocket, I bleed aquamarine. Don't try to stop me when I'm feeling kinda naughty. You think you can control me over my dead body? Aha! I see you! Hey, wait up! Damn, how deep is this cave? Oh fuck, my phone's almost dead. Hey kid! It's dangerous in here. We should turn back and find your parents. <sighs> fuck! Who touched me? Oh, oh fuck! My phone! What the, the hell is dripping on me? 
Fuck, my phone's wet. Oh! Oh god, what the fuck? It's blood? Wait, hang on, where's Noah? I need you to focus on me right now. No, I'm serious, he just disappeared. He's better at survival than both of us. He's the last person I'd be worried about. This is an island we've never been to. You don't know what the wildlife is like here. We should stick together. We're literally in the middle of talking about your secret sex history with Noah, and you don't have the decency to not fixate on him? I can't talk to you when you're like this. Where are you going? I'm getting Noah. And I'm taking the radio with me in case I need to airlift myself away from your fucking drama. Fine! I don't need you and your boyfriend on my show anyway. I'm setting up camp. Good! Eat something. It might cure your PMS. Fuck you! Make sure your mic's on! In case you catch something we can use! <sighs> Fellow travelers, the key to setting up camp is finding a nice I don't get it, you know? girls. They can experiment, do whatever they want in college, hook up with another girl, wear boys' clothes, boom. No one bats an eye. No one gives a shit. No one questions whether or not she's straight, you know? Double fucking standard. Noah? Noah, you in there? Hey man, we're setting up camp now. Noah? Shit, should have brought my headlamp. Noah! <sighs> All right, fuck it. I'm going in. Ugh. On. All right, Wonderlings. Some days, starting a fire can be downright depressing. Even for a pro like me. <laughs> when you're on a beach, the wind can be unpredictable. So remember to pack a fire starter cube. They're small. You can get them anywhere. Usually they're drenched in lighter fluid, but I get the organic kind made of tumbleweed. Better for the environment. Hopefully this does the trick. Sometimes even paradise can give you a hard time. But you know what? I'm a tough vegan cookie who's gonna get this fire going even if it kills me. Ah, oh, yes! There we go! See? Anything can be conquered. So, it's just me here. The sun's going down now. A dusty orange yolk melting into the water. Unless the boys come back, like... Now, they're definitely going to miss out on this view. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe they're having the time of their life right now, not thinking about me. <laughs> Cares about a stupid podcast anyway, right? They're probably fucking bareback in a cave for all I know. <laughs> or I don't know. Maybe they got eaten by an island coyote, which is honestly what they fucking deserve. Sorry. Cut. The boys went to gather some wood, but they'll be back just in time for a nice hot meal. You know, this breeze is so warm, I might just skip the tent tonight and sleep under the stars. What the hell is that distortion? Okay, do over. You know, this breeze is so warm, I might just... Christ on a stick! What is that? Weird. Let me isolate it. I think... I think... What? Mama! <gasps> Who is it? Who's out there? Mason? Noah? Who's fucking with me? Come out! I... I got a gun, motherfucker! Mason! Noah! 
All right, fuck it. I'm going in. God, this is dangerous. Noah? You okay? Fuck. Where are you, man? I can't see anything. Ow! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Hello, Mason. This isn't fucking funny, dude. It is funny. All right, fine, you got me, dickhole. But you can't just leave like that. No one's leaving. Now's not the time for pranks. Savannah's in a mood. Well, maybe the tide will wash up and drown her in her sleep. What? What the fuck's gotten into you, man? Give me your light. Let's get out of here. Holy shit, dude! Why are you covered in blood? Do you smell that? Smell what? That. Mm. <sighs> Disease. Dude, you need first aid stat. We gotta get back to camp. <laughs> Not that way. Follow me. No, I'm pretty sure that's going deeper in. Listen, there's an incredible spot, not much deeper. Let's camp there tonight. I, I didn't use all my vacation days to sleep in a nasty-ass cave, bro. Trust me, there's a clearing with good light and a hot spring. I can't explain it. You have to see it yourself. The, the hot spring? Yes. I don't think... We still gotta get Savannah. It's not far. We'll check it out and go out the other end. All right, but we have to get back to the beach before it gets dark. We still gotta record the swimming segment. Is your mic on? Yeah. Turn it off. Why? Just do it. Dude, what's wrong with you? I said just do it. No. Just do it, you motherfucking cocksucker! Mason? Noah? Okay, adventurers. My favorite thing about traveling is that sometimes you find yourself in unexpected situations, and you have to rely on your preparedness, good instincts, and decision-making skills. That's why I always have on me a mechanically powered flashlight or a shake light. No batteries needed. Ah! <laughs> Who are you? I thought... Jesus! <laughs> Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Mama? Where's your mom? <laughs> Play with me, Mama. <laughs> hey! Stop! H hey na, na, na. <sighs> Caitlin said this was supposed to be uninhabited. Where's your mom? Why are you here? Why are you here? Where's your people? Where's your people? Listen, little girl. I'm not in the mood for games. I'm the host of an extremely popular podcast, and being on this island for this episode is really fu- Effing important, okay? You and your mom and whoever else you're with is not going to ruin this for us. Do you understand me? We were here first. Mama's angry. No one is supposed to be here! Ugh. I'm gonna kill Caitlyn. Look, I don't know why you're here, little girl, and frankly, I don't give a rat's ass. Just do us a favor. Stay out of our way, we'll stay on the beach for three days, and pretend we never saw- Mason? Mason? Did, did you see him? Where is he? Noah? Where are they? Dead. <laughs> That's not funny. Get back here! Na, na, na. Play with me, Mama. Do I look like I'm even old enough to be your- I'm not supposed to be here, Mama. Let's go home. Did someone leak our trip to the public? God, I know we don't pay her, but Caitlin is so fired.
She assured us we'd be the first to first. That's what they said when they landed. Before they took us away. Who took you away? But it wasn't their land. And this isn't ours either, Mama. It's totally my land. I'm part Chinese. No one told you what happened here? I don't know where you're from. I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm not in the mood to be fucked with. Shh. Mama, listen. I'll tell you what happened to me. Na na na. I still remember our home, our small fishing village in 1841. You taught me how to weave baskets and make shuk, and Baba wrote the junks out into the water. Each morning we woke up to the grandest view of the large green mountains. And then they landed in their big ships, their fancy costumes. They took our tea and gave us poppies and made our minds melt away. They saw how rich we could make them. And they took it. The water, the land, the people, they took it. Oceans cry, mountains cry, can't escape the pain. They lived among us, but made us feel small, drugged us with porcelain and pound cakes, mesmerized us with the camera obscura, infected us with their disease. The plague, the one that only affected children, the one that made our eyes bulge out of our sockets, made us cough up blood, made our skin gray like ash, made our insides liquid. Every night our cries echoed across the port, past the polo fields, the libraries, past each pier. They didn't know what to do. They didn't want to hear us see us. So they rounded us all up, as young as four and as old as 13, and shipped us away. An entire generation of children, gone. sent us here to die alone. A place where our cries couldn't reach their ears, to a place where they could shield their eyes from our suffering. I cried for you, but you couldn't hear me. We were our own mothers and fathers. We found shelter, we ate grass, we ate leeches. But then the leeches started eating us from the inside. Many of the children didn't make it. So we started eating the little ones. I was the lookout. So every day I went to the shore and waited for someone to come back for us. Every. Day. in this island. I never gave up. I knew someday you would find me again and take me home. You're here to take me home, right? You're here for me, to take me away, to bring me back. Mama, you know this is not paradise. This is our hell. Hear us cry. that came with you. I've taken a soul as my host, so I can finally leave. What the fuck? Stand back. Don't come any closer. Mama. Stand back. I need it. I've got a fuse fucking mini, goddammit. Oh, that's it. I'm tapping out. Where's the goddamn radio? Oh, 
Oh, fuck! Mason has it! <sighs> Listen, creepy kid. You tell me where they are right now. Right fucking now! Mama... Oh my god! Oh my god! Mason! Noah! Wake up! Mama! I said back away! Caitlin! Caitlin! Emergency extraction on the beach, and we need a medic. Stat! The Where'd the kid go? She was just here. Uh, Savannah? Mason! Oh, it's... Watch out, Sav! Mason's dangerous! Baby, don't listen to him! What the fuck? You guys are bleeding. Don't come any closer, Sav! I know this sounds crazy, but Mason is possessed by something! He, he don't attacked listen to him, me! Baby. I can't... God, he's choking! Try to kill me! If I let go, he will kill me! He cracked my head open! He was like that when I found him! Don't you fucking move, both of you. What's going on? Don't shoot me! Don't trust him! He's possessed by demons! Please talk to your ancestors! Make them stop! They're not my fucking ancestors! I'm from Ventura County! Uh, I can't hold him off anymore! Savannah, it sounds insane, but you've got to take him out! He's joking me! No, Savannah, you know me! Which one? It's, it's him. him! Mason attacked me! I'm your boyfriend. I need you to believe me. I don't know who to believe. If you kill me, we're all dead. Trust me, baby. Trust me. I just wanted to make a podcast, guys. We didn't even get to the swimming segment. No, no wait! wait! Wanderlings, my fellow journeying brethren, if you've made it this far, you know that we survived. Well, at least two of us. Hopefully you'll never complain about your vacation from hell again. We're proud to announce, thanks to listeners like you, that episode had the highest number of downloads in Adventure File history, shooting us straight to number one on the charts. Ever since our little brush with death, we no longer sweat the small stuff. We're focused on the big picture now. So, with great pleasure, I'm excited to announce that Adventure File is being developed for television and coming to the Travel Channel this fall. As for the two of us, we're closer than we've ever been. We're headed home now with more than a few scars, but with a new approach to life. On our next episode, we'll process our grief together on a beautiful desert island off the coast of southern Belize, where ancient Mayan remains await our discovery. And this time... Some of us will try not to wander off alone into a cave anymore. Right, Noah? <laughs> you bet. Not gonna make that mistake again. Since Noah's been such a great guest to have on the pod, it's really an honor to promote him officially as my co-host. Oh, we're gonna have such a great time. Absolutely. But before we begin, let's take a moment to honor... Mason. Ever since he accidentally shot himself in that cave... We've started a foundation in his honor, the Mason Lee Travel Fund, to encourage kids to see the world and, like Mason, make it their own. We'll miss you, bro. So, Noah, you ready for the next adventure? You bet, Mama. Thank you for listening to this performance of Here Now, Keen Company's season of audio theater. 
If you've enjoyed what you've heard so far, hit the subscribe button in your podcast app, and please take a moment to rate us and leave a review. This will help Keen connect to more audio play lovers like you. You've just listened to Adventure File, music, book, and lyrics by Melissa Lee, book and lyrics by Kit Yan, directed by Morgan Green, with Stephanie Mieko Cohen as Savannah, Kennedy Kanagawa as Mason, Zachary Noah Pizer as Noah, and Amiko Dunn as the child. Sound design by Fan Zhang. Music direction by Mona Sayed Bolafarouche. Music assistance by Bronwyn Chen. Music mixed by Jay Eigenman. Audio engineered by Garrett Schultz. Casting by Michael Kassara. Stage managed by Norman Anthony Small. This performance is part of Keen Company's Here Now season of audio theater, led by artistic director Jonathan Silverstein. The season's audio consultant is Garrett Schultz. The Here Now theme is composed by Billy Reese. Want exclusive perks, bonus content, and invites to virtual opening night parties? Sign up for a Here Now season membership. Packages start at just $1 a month. Looking to support off-Broadway theater artists? Make a tax-deductible gift to Keen Company and contribute to Stories of Connection. Learn more at www.keencompany.org. Thank you for listening. I look forward to joining you at the virtual theater again soon.